Welcome to this third and final video showing how StreamSets Data Collector Edge and StreamSets Control Hub work seamlessly to move data all across the enterprise. In part one, I showed how to get StreamSets Data Collector Edge running on a Raspberry Pi with a very, very simple pipeline, just generating uh, random data and uh, sending it to trash. In part two, I showed how to change this simple pipeline to write records to HTTP and how a pipeline running on StreamSets Data Collector could pick up those records and write them to uh, a disk on my uh, laptop. This time around, I'm going to look at a more sophisticated pipeline. Let's look at this read BMP 180 pipeline. On my Raspberry Pi, I have a BMP 180 temperature sensor. And this is a development stage that's included with StreamSets Data Collector Edge. It's a very simple uh, example of reading uh, a real world sensor, this um, BMXX80 family of atmospheric sensors. So my sensor is at, uh, uh, running on the I2C bus on address uh, hex 77. And this is going to create records with uh, temperature and pressure data. Now, as an example of processing at the edge, I'm going to convert the uh, Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. As the processing power of connected devices increases and their, uh, the number of connected devices increases, it's useful to be able to offload processing onto the edge in this way. So simple calculations are very effective in edge pipelines. So with that done, I'm going to send records to uh, StreamSets Data Collector via HTTP, just as I did in the last example. But if we go and look at the uh, server-side pipeline, you'll see that it's much more sophisticated than just writing data to a file. Again, I'm picking up data using the HTTP server, so I'm picking up those JSON records. This time, I'm using the aggregator processor to create a five-second moving average. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the average of the Fahrenheit temperature over a five-second rolling window. So I'm writing the data out, but I'm also taking the average events and I'm testing them to see if they cross a threshold. So if the temperature is above 80, the average temperature that is for a five second period, I'm going to write a record to a f an alert file. And I'm constructing a record here with this alert temperature above threshold text with uh, a timestamp at the beginning. So I'm just formatting that record exactly as I want it and sending it to an alert, an alert file. So with that, let's go start the job for the server-side pipeline. So it should be running now. Let's uh, drill down into the, uh, the uh, data collector instance. Yep, there it is. And as usual, it's sitting at zero records, just waiting for input to arrive. So now I can go and start the job on the edge. And what we should see is data starting to arrive. So every second, it's uh, collecting temperature data, sending it to this pipeline. And again, we can use snapshot to get an idea of the data as it's arriving. So we capture a snapshot and we view it and we can see that the HTTP server there is saying that the temperature is 24.7 Celsius uh, here in my office. So let's come out of that and let's um, see if we can trigger an alert. So if we look at the stream selector, all of the records are going to output to, to. There's no alert in progress. We can just discard those events. Uh, let's get a hairdryer now and uh, warm things up a bit. Okay, it's probably pretty noisy, but I'm blasting the sensor with the hairdryer. And already we can see, already we can see that alerts are being generated. So there, you can see two alert records went to uh, the alert file. That's three, three now, and that'll, as the temperature comes down, that should fall. That should uh, stop increasing, rather. But we can go across to look for the alert file. And if we just tail that, what we should find 
is a whole bunch of uh, alerts there as the temperature went right up to wow 108 uh, degrees i better be careful not to fry my uh, raspberry pi in its little sensor there i can look at the topology and see a system-wide view so here's my pipeline running on the uh, raspberry pi in Streamsets Data Collector Edge. And I can see that it's sending data via HTTP to the pipeline on my laptop. So I can get a view of the data flowing across the whole system, right from the sensor to the data file and the alert file on my machine.